All right, so you know how YouTubers do this thing where they like start their video like this? Oh shit! <clears throat> they like sit down, they like scoot up, and then they they put on their headset. They, they put on their headset like this. Well, that's what I did. I just did that, right? Um, because that's the famous intro of many YouTubers. And I thought, you know what? I got to do the same, but I'm not going to cut it. I'm not going to edit it. So it's going to be like unique. It's a unique trend. Anyways, guys, I don't know what I'm ranting about anymore. We are, we're here. It's podcast episode four. Uh, this, uh, th we have met some milestones. Guys, we have four members on the channel right now. We have four members. Do you guys know what this means? Do you know what this means? This is incredible. I want to give a shout out. I want to give a shout out to four people who I am encouraged by. We have Rec. We have Dylan. We have Fontaine Bloom. I don't know how to say your name, but I think I said it incorrectly. So if I did, I'm sorry. But then we also have Panda Island MC1. Guys, we have four members on the channel right now. Now, I will admit, I saw a comment from Sir Dylan. Dylan said that he actually became a member on his other channel, which is the Panda Island MC uh, account. So he did that because he's helping me get to my goal of eight members so we can display the memberships on the front and center of my channel page. So thank you, Dylan, for your, your support on two accounts. I really appreciate that. That's insane. I'm so glad you did that. Uh, but we also got... We got two members in one day. I mean, I, one was Dylan, you know, Dylan's second account. But then this other guy, uh, the guy who I botched your name, I'm so sorry about that. But thank you for becoming a member. I really do appreciate it. Um, today's video, I am just, like, I just got home from work, my nine to five job. I just got home. I am so encouraged right now, guys. I cannot, I, I, it, it, it's not even because of the memberships. I came home and I saw that and I was like, no way. But, that wasn't the reason why I'm so ecstatic right now. Um, that's part of, that, that's obviously helping. That's like insane. Thank you guys so much. And thank you for Rec and Dylan for being a part of the squad already. Rec has been a part of the squad for 27 days. Dylan has been a part of the squad for 11 days. And the two new members, one who is also Dylan, but you guys just joined today. Super incredible, super pumped. That's not the reason why I'm so excited though, guys. I am genuinely going to tell you why I'm so excited. T guys, today at my nine to five, I came to the realization that I am genuinely fulfilled by the work that I'm doing at my nine to five. You see, it's my seventh day at my new job, um, which is my nine to five now. The commute is so good, uh, like seven minutes to get to work, nine minutes on a bad day of traffic. Like, okay, that's insane, right? Guys, I'm doing some good work. Like, I, I'm putting in good effort. Like, I'm putting in the effort on my end. They're so happy to have me there. They can tell my work ethic is really good. But, man, I am just so fulfilled by the work that I'm doing. Uh, and I'm still in the training phases. I, I haven't even learned everything yet. I mean, I've probably learned, like, 2% of what I need to do. Uh, well, probably more than that because I'm getting the daily functions down, but um, I haven't come across much experience yet. I, I'm seven days in. And I'm just – I'm so encouraged. I cannot tell you how encouraged I am, but you need, if I have any piece of advice from this video, take this away. You need to work your butt off until you find something that does not feel like work that you can do as work. That's a mouthful. Let me, let me break it down for you guys. You need to find work that does not feel like work, but it is work. Let me break it down even further. You need to like what you're doing as your, for, for your job. Now, this might sound like something you've heard a million times, and you probably have, but I'm currently experiencing that. Uh, yesterday, uh, I actually had a very different perspective on my job. I was not a fan of yesterday's day at work, and the reason was it wasn't the work itself. It was because I didn't get much sleep the night before. You see, I was in a lot of sleep debt, and in fact, I'm still in sleep debt. Even after getting nine hours of sleep last night, I am still in sleep debt because uh, my sleep schedule, I wasn't getting enough sleep for like seven to 10 days. I was getting like five or six hours and that accumulates. I wasn't catching up on my sleep and man, it all hit me yesterday and I was, oh, it was so, so hard to work. But let me tell you, 
today after a good night's rest. I felt energized. I felt so productive. And there's a trade-off there because obviously to get a lot of sleep, to get nine hours of sleep, um, my, my body requires eight hours, but I needed to catch up on some sleep. So to get nine hours of sleep, I had to go to bed early. I had to get to bed around 10. And I woke up around 7, 7.30-ish. So it's like there's a trade-off there because I wanted to do more like work for my YouTube channels last night, but I needed to prioritize sleep. I really needed to sleep, and I did. I slept. I slept. And today, I just felt so good. I felt so energized. I didn't need coffee today. I, I genuinely felt good. I felt full of energy. I had two cups of coffee anyway. Uh, so that's contributing to my energy levels right now. I had one cup of coffee like two hours ago. But I'm just so encouraged to be able to enjoy what I'm doing when I'm full of energy, when I have you know slept the necessary amounts. Because I know that when I'm capable of having the energy I need for work, you know, obviously this job is new for me, but I'm genuinely enjoying it so far. And it's much more up my alley than what my previous job was like. And it's so cool to be able to come home and still have so much energy to record a, vid a video and just to see some results. Well, guys, we have four members. We're halfway to our goal of eight members. If you're new, consider buying a membership. We're trying to get to eight so I can plaster your guys' names on my YouTube channel at the very top of, of the page. I think it's just a really cool thing. Eight members is like attainable. It's something I can strive for. And it's something we're halfway towards, which is incredible. And I'm just so encouraged. I'm so excited to share this news with you guys because I think it's so vital to understand that there's going to be days where you just don't get much sleep. And there's going to be days that just stink. But that compounded by work that you don't want to do, that creates a deadly combination of just sadness. Uh, but when you have a job that you like doing on days that you're full of energy, on the days when you don't have much energy, it makes the work that you're doing, makes it easier. But the moral of the story is, guys, we need to prioritize our health. Like, I was in the car ride praying on the way home today from work, and I was like, hmm, it's interesting how God created us to need around eight hours of sleep per night. Literally a third of our lives is required to go towards sleep just by nature. That's how we're made. And as you guys know, I'm, I'm a believer in Jesus Christ. And if you're not a believer, that's okay. Um, like, I hope to convey to you that, like, even though I'm a, like, I'm, I'm a, I'm a believer and I'm a, I'm a proud believer, but for some of you, I know it might be hard to like, think about like what I just said, like, to think about it from God's perspective about how he created us. Uh, but it's interesting because that's the way I view things is that God created us and and that he made us need eight hours of sleep. He could have made us need only two hours of sleep. But it's really interesting that he made us need a third of our lives just for rest. It's really interesting. And we'll, we'll kind of talk about that in another, in another video. But I'm just so encouraged today, guys. I'm so thankful for just my channel members. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate all of you. Thank you for any new members. Um, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. I'm super encouraged. I plan to make a few more videos today. We got to keep this caffeine in me, get it ready to go, you know, punch out some videos. It's going to be great. I'm really excited, but prioritize your health guys. Sleep is needed. Incorporate sleep into your schedule. You can't push that off till a last minute thing like, oh, I'll get some more sleep if I can. Like, no, you need to prioritize it. Build it into your schedule. And um, yeah, today's episode is going to be a little, I mean, it's nine minutes long. It's a podcast episode four. I didn't even mention that. It's, it's part of a podcast series that we're doing, guys. And after this, I plan to make a Bed Wars video just for you channel members because that's what I can do. I have that ability on my YouTube channel. I don't know. It's a weird flex, but okay. Um, so if you want to become a member, you can watch that video. Um, I'm just really stoked. Guys, thank you so much for all that you do. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in future videos. Take care and peace.